Welcome to Inside Science TV. About 31 million, that's the number of Christmas trees sold each year in the U.S. But when picking the perfect tree, most people have one favorite. The most popular tree is the uh, Fraser fir. There are many different types of trees to choose from, but growing the perfect tree isn't easy. Now, tree geneticists are working to develop better Christmas trees. Some trees are tall, some trees are short, and some of that variation, not all of it, is due to, to variation in the genes and how those genes function as the tree grows. We're trying to improve the growth rate of these trees so they grow faster. Also, more recently, we've started looking at uh, needle retention. The biggest complaint among consumers are trees that don't hold their needles. In a lab, researchers test and weigh needles that have fallen off cut Fraser fir branches after four weeks. Trees are ranked on how well they retain their needles after being cut. Trees that shed more needles may not be the best for future breeding projects. There are some trees that just are genetically uh, predisposed to shed their needles more rapidly and at a greater rate than others. Cold weather helps trees hold their needles longer. Soil type and amount of rain can affect trees too. But the best advice to keep your tree looking its best? And make sure you, you don't let the tree go dry. It's a hard time getting it to drink again. Putting a little science into your holiday. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.